It's the 30th of July, so we'll soon be in August. It's absolutely boiling here in the UK right now. And you might be surprised to hear that there are still things you can sow in August that you can harvest this autumn. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Well, I'm not going to be doing it in this video, but I'm going to show you everything I'm going to try and sow for an autumn harvest just to keep my season going. But I'm just going to show you this uh, quickly, my tomato cage. Now, this tomato, I did move it from here because I realised it was in too much shade. But I just wanted to show you the tomato cage I did another another video with the water reservoir has done brilliantly. And there were a few people sort of mocking my cage, but it is absolutely contained and held up this tomato absolutely fantastically. This one here with these ripened tomatoes here is all over the place. I mean, it's still great, don't get me wrong, the, the water reservoir has done really well, but it has sort of toppled over. So I'll link the video for this tomato cage below. It's too late to, to plant tomatoes now, uh, but anyway, just keep it for reference for next year. So let's do the video. So the first thing I'm gonna be planting for autumn harvest are lettuces. So lettuces can do really well. Some of them are just coming to the end that some of the packets recommend you uh, sow last in July, but I'm gonna give it a go because we have Indian summers quite often here now in the UK that uh, continue our summer on in well into September. And really things only start to cool down in October and we really don't get our first frosts often till November, if not later. So I'm pretty confident I can get some lettuce. I've got some turnip here I'm going to try. Um, I hope I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm not gonna necessarily have time to sow all these, but these are things you can sow if you have time and they're, you know, they're something you fancy. So here are some spring onions. All of these different varieties can be sown now for harvesting this year, so that's great. I've got two raised beds I can clear um, to uh, uh, sow some of these lettuces and uh, all these salads in. So I'm really looking forward to clearing those beds out of the spent flowers and doing some autumn harvest. So there's just three different types of spring onion there. You can obviously go to your local garden center and get whichever one suits you, but you can see on the back here, it's, it still says you can sow in August. Chard is another one. Some of these salad leaves actually do just prefer um, the cooler side of the summer. So they like starting in the heat and then they grow on in the cooler weather as the days get a little bit shorter and cooler. They really benefit from that. So another one of these two types of rocket, this one here is dragon's tongue because it has a red vein. And this one here is just regular rocket like you get in the salad bag. So um, they always do really well in my garden. Rockets actually just sell seeds all over the garden, to be honest. Another one you can sow now for a quick harvest uh, is uh, these radishes. So I've got two, again, two varieties. So something a little bit spicy, a little bit warming now. Once we start, well, once you start harvesting these, it's going to be getting cooler. So radishes are perfect um, for, for them. They're also really great for children to grow because they're quite easy and obviously they're quite quick to grow. So very satisfying for children to grow. These beans I just picked up yesterday. So have a look at my uh, why you should buy seeds in August video because they are often half price as were these beans. But this one is just, it says last sowing in July. Well, I'm still in July technically, so I'm gonna do it. And this one, it can be sown in August anyway. And another one you can do, surprisingly, uh, is uh, carrots, but you have to check carrots because there are so many different varieties of carrots. Some of, some of those heritage carrots, the purple carrots and those stripy, fancy colored ones, you cannot do those. But these Nance ones you can do now. So I'm gonna, I've got a big front uh, raised bed, which I think I'm gonna plant those in. Now, these are some I'm just gonna experiment with. Technically, you shouldn't be doing broccoli necessarily. Some people say you can. I don't know. I've got these three I'm gonna experiment with, see if I can get a fast crop by growing them in the raised bed in the greenhouse. So that's cucumber, broccoli, and courgette. So they are ones I'm experimenting with. So don't sort of necessarily think you can grow them, but I am gonna grow them in the greenhouse to see if that helps. Uh, me to get a crop. So it's debatable whether they will work, but it's very hot in the greenhouse, obviously. So I'm going to give those three a go. But all these other ones, you can definitely sow now for a later crop. And I'm just showing you here my 
um, trellis, my absolutely cheapest chips trellis with my cardboard box container. So I'll link that video below because I'm going to grow my beans in here. I did have some courgettes in here and these uh, sweet peas here also are ready to be harvested. I'm going to take the seed pods off them, lift them and plant the beans in here. You can see it's so cheap with a cardboard box and the cardboard box is still intact. So I'll link that video below about making the trellis and just recycling old cardboard boxes for growing in. This is the raised bed inside the greenhouse. I did not think these snapdragons were going to go all summer in here. Okay, they look a bit ropey now, but they have flowered all summer in this raised bed. I, I thought I was going to get them out much earlier, but they just kept going and going. But now I am going to lift them and I'm going to harvest the seeds. These hanging baskets already had lettuce in them before, which are obviously dead now. So I'm going to just jazz those up, refresh the compost and re-sow some more lettuce in there. And this is my front raised bed. So I've got plenty of room to grow some of these crops in here, which I'll be doing in later videos. But I wanted to bring you this video quickly because obviously you need the time to go and get the seeds and you know decide what you're going to grow in your garden. A lot of these can be grown in containers too. So you can still do them now on a patio or in a back garden in a small area. As long as it's fairly sunny, you should be fine. I've got plenty of room now. I'm going to be harvesting these crops, taking up these flowers, removing my sweet peas. So I'll have those trellises and teepees to play with. So there's lots to be done, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to hold off on this video sh and, and sort of show you me doing all that because I really wanted to get this list of things that you can grow now for harvesting in autumn uh, so that you can sort of crack on with it this weekend. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.